so today we'll be focusing on the leukocyte recruitment so what is leukocyte recruitment so generally the leukocytes flow rapidly in the blood and in the process of inflammation they have to be stopped and brought towards the offending agent or to the site of the tissue damage so the movement of the leukocytes from the blood vessels towards the extravascular space is simply called as the leukocyte recruitment so in order to know the mechanism of the leukocyte recruitment we should know four different stages through which the leukocyte is brought from the blood vessel to the extracellular matrix so i'll just write the simple definition where the leukocyte from blood vessels i'll write bv for blood vessels to extravascular space so this is kind of a simple definition for leukocyte recruitment and we'll be undergoing four different stages to know how the leukocyte travel from the blood vessel to the extravascular space so firstly there is margination and rolling of the leukocytes so how is this margination and rolling takes place so we'll go to a picture to understand this so in this case i've already pre-drawn the picture uh, it kind of looks complicated here but we'll slowly get through it so this region here is generally the blood vessels so in the blood vessels there is the leukocytes in this case we'll assume the white blood cell is of neutrophil type which is here i've denoted it n and generally during the blood flow all the red blood cells travel in the central region of the blood vessels because they have they are tinier and travel fastly and since the leukocytes have a bigger size they kind of travel towards the periphery of the blood vessels in this region which is kind of good because they can actually interact with the endothelial surface so this process of the physiological process through which the leukocytes generally travel towards the periphery of the blood vessel is called as the margination so this general physiological process is one of our first stages in the leukocyte recruitment where the leukocytes travel along the periphery of the blood vessels which is called as the margination so the another important step in the first stage was rolling the second important process in the first stage is rolling and this is mediated by a group of proteins called selectins which are found on the endothelial surface as well as in the leukocytes surface so when the endothelial cells are activated by the different mediators like cytokines and other mediators the leukocytes express adjacent molecules to the endothelium through which they attach loosely so these are the family of the selectins which involve in the rolling process and in the endothelial surface we can see p-selectin and e-selectin whereas in the leukocyte surface we can see CLLXS X modified protein which can bind to the p or the e-selectin so we can see that this is the neutrophil which is traveling in the blood vessels at the periphery so this is the first stage margination which is about to be followed by rolling where in the surface of the neutrophil you can see the green thing here and over here which are the CLA Lewis X modified proteins I'll just write X here and in the surface of the endothelium we have a orange and yellow marking so this denotes the other group of the selectin family which are found on the endothelial surface in the blood vessel so this is the endothelial surface and one of these things is P selectin I'll just write P here and this one is E selectin so in the process of rolling the leukocytes once activated express adjacent molecules that are the CLA Lewis X modified proteins which have denoted your X which interact with the endothelial selectins either E or P selectin and these two kind of bind loosely so this formation of loose attachment between the leukocytes and the endothelial selectins is called as rolling so this is the end and now I'll just denote that M for margination and here is rolling which is achieved during the first stage of leukocyte recruitment now we'll go look at the second stage of leukocyte recruitment so in the second stage of leukocyte recruitment 
we have adjacent. This is kind of a strong interaction between the leukocyte and the endothelial surface. So we'll go back to the picture. And this adjacent is generally mediated by the integrin family. We saw that the selectin family was the mediator in the rolling process and in the process of adjacent, the integrin family is the main player in this process. So we have uh, the integrin which are present in the leukocyte surface as well as in the endothelial surface which helps a strong connection between the leukocytes and the endothelial surface. Generally the integrins are glycoproteins that mediate the adjustment of the leukocytes to the endothelium and we have endothelial integrins as well as the leukocyte integrins and we'll see what are these integrins now. So these are the integrins which are present in endothelium. So these are the integrins which are present in the endothelial surface which is ICAM1 and VCAM1. Each has a different abbreviation. The ICAM1 stands for intracellular adjacent molecule 1 and VCAM1 stands for vascular cell adjacent molecule 1. And this ICAM1 generally attaches to the leukocyte integrin type of LFA1 which is denoted as leukocyte formation associated antigen 1 or the macrophage 1 antigen. And secondly, the VCAM1 attaches towards the VLA4, which is the which is also called as the very late antigen 4, which is expressed in the leukocyte surface. So following the first stage rolling, here is the second stage, which is the process of adjacen, where the leukocyte surface has the ciliated leukocyte integrins that is LFA1 and MAC1 and VLA4. So these are the different kinds of the leukocyte integrins which are LFA1, LFA1 and other types including VLA4 which kind of attach to the endothelial integrins which are seen here and we were discussing about the different types with this ICAM1 and VCAM1. So through this adjacent the neutrophils are now firmly attached to the endothelial surface with the help of the integrin. So this is all about the adjacent where there is a strong connection between the leukocytes and the endothelial surface. So following the adjacent, we'll be having the third stage that is the transmigration of the leukocytes between the endothelial cells. So we'll just write down the third stage. So in the third stage, it is transmigration between the endothelial cells. So what happens in this third stage? So generally following the adjacent, the process of transmigration happens through the gaps between the endothelial cells. So the, the leukocytes need to go to the extravascular space which is below. So this is the extravascular space which is here. The extravascular space where there is presence of microbes which are these yellow tiny things which are present in the extravascular space which may be some kind of microbes or the endotoxins which are produced by the microbes which kind of attract the leukocytes towards the extravascular space so that the leukocytes travel from the blood vessels towards the extravascular space. So the third stage is the transmigration of the leukocytes right here. So generally in the process of inflammation th there is increased vascular permeability so there is gaps formed between the endothelial cells and through, through these gaps the neutrophils that is the leukocytes travel to the extravascular space towards the microbes. So what happens in the transmigration is generally this tra transmigration happens due to the presence of chemokines that, has, that are produced in the site of the tissue injury. So here are production of certain chemokines due to presence of the microbes. So this chemokines generally attracts the leukocytes to this site of injury. So additionally, there, is, there are also several molecules called PECAM1, which are called as the platelet endothelial cell adjacent molecules, which are present in the endothelial surface as well as in the leukocyte surface, which are these brown things, which is here in the leukocyte surface and here in the endothelial surface. So these are called as PECAM1, which also facilitates the transmigration of the leukocytes to the extravascular space. So these are PECAM1. 
which are also called as the platelet endothelial cell adjacent molecule 1. So this also helps the leukocytes to travel towards the extravascular space. And between the endothelial cell and the extravascular space, that there is a basement membrane which is kind of present here. And the leukocytes can easily enter through the gaps between the endothelial cells. But in order to get through the basement membrane, there are special enzymes which are produced by the leukocytes, which include the collagenases or elastases, which help them travel through the basement membrane to the extravascular space. So this is all about the third stage where there is transmigration of the leukocytes through the endothelial cells. They cross the basement membrane with the help of the enzymes like collagenases and now they finally reach the extravascular space where there is tissue injury or where there is presence of external endotoxins released from different bacterial cells. So this is the third stage and finally the fourth stage is the migration of the leukocytes towards the external offending agent. So I'll just write the migration of leukocytes and I'll just write L which will denote leukocytes through the chemotactic stimulus towards the offending agent. So this is the fourth step. So I'll just repeat once again that in the fourth stage, the leukocyte kind of travel towards the external microbe and undergo process of phagocytosis, which happens due to the chemotactic molecules, which bind to the surface of the leukocytes and the leukocytes use pseudopods to travel towards the external toxins and undergo in the process of phagocytosis where the cells are undertaken inside the leukocytes and there is formation of phagolysosome and destruction of the external microbe. So this is the fourth stage of the leukocyte recruitment. So this is another general picture which shows this denotes the leukocyte transmigration where initially there is presence of the leukocyte cells in the blood vessel and this undergoes rolling which is the process here which has a weak attachment towards the endothelial cell surface so after the process of rolling there is adjustion of the leukocytes towards the endothelial cell surface so once the firm adjustion is achieved in this state they try to get through the endothelial cell surface which is the clefts between the endothelial cells and as soon as they enter through the gaps they reach the extravascular space and in the extravascular space